The results-driven Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce invites you to connect your business with a thousand other companies just like yours, including education and workforce development, health care, professional services, manufacturing, retail, nonprofit, trades and vocations, hospitality, among many others. And benefit with chamber programs and services such as government affairs, energy and economic development, small business assistance, networking opportunities, women in business programs, young people in business programs, and more. We invite your business to become a starring member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber today and see what a difference this chamber will make for you. Join your community's most trusted, effective, and relevant business network connection today. The Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Bevilacqua. I'm the Vice President of the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce and I would like to welcome you all to another edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program. Uh, today we have a very special guest, Kerry Whalen, who is the Executive Director at Challenge Unlimited at Ironstone Farm. And Carrie, welcome to the show. Thanks, Michael. Really happy to be here. Of course. And, uh, you know, we know a lot about uh, what Challenge Unlimited and Ironstone Farm does. A lot of great things for the community, a lot of great things for the residents. What, but for those who do not know, why don't you tell everyone home exactly what Challenge Unlimited Ironstone Farm is? Sure. Uh, we are a nonprofit therapeutic riding farm located in Andover. Yes. We welcome and support people from various backgrounds and circumstances and really pride ourselves on creating a community and an atmosphere where all are welcome, all are capable, and all should have the opportunity to achieve their full potential. Uh, we have our one-on-one -on -one therapeutic riding program where we support people um, as young as 18 months wow. and as old as 82 yep. and all the ages in between. And then we have our uh, equine assisted group programs and services where we support uh, groups as small as three or four and as large as 18 to 20. Uh, and in these groups, group programs, we are supporting people, um, veterans and first responders living with PTSD, families and children that have been impacted by cancer, people living with Alzheimer's and dementia and their caregivers, people in recovery and at-risk youth. No, it's um, great. Yeah, and at the heart of all of this is this really profound human horse connection. Yes. And for people just being on the farm and being able to interact with our horses and, and the farm environment really provides an opportunity to improve their emotional, social, cognitive well-being. Um, it's really, really um, incredible and uh, very uh, inspiring to be a part of and oh, watch. Oh, I can, I can imagine. We've, you know, we've, we've heard many great stories about yeah. how much, and I was going to mention when you mentioned riding, you're talking about riding horses. I am you talking about riding horses, yes. big horses at the, yes. at the farm. So, yes. Um, and it's amazing to see because we've heard firsthand about what a difference these horses have had on our veterinary yeah. community. Absolutely. What a difference these, peop these horses have made on people who might have disabilities. Mm -hmm. They really make a difference. So thank you and your team for having this opportunity. And you know, how do people get involved with Ironstone Farm? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, I think one of the best ways that people can help support the work that we do is to join our volunteer team. Yes. Uh, so we have this incredibly passionate, dedicated, enthusiastic group of volunteers um, that support our farm in so many ways. So we have lesson and program volunteers that help support the lessons and programs that happen all week long. And then we also have some um, different things going on on the weekends. And then we also have volunteers that support our horse care and our okay. facilities management. Um, and are always looking for new um, enthusiastic people to come and join that incredi incredible group and support the work that we're doing at the farm. Um, we also have a couple of different committees, um, uh, specifically around fundraising and event planning. Okay. And love people that have um, expertise um, and insights into uh, event planning and fundraising to potentially come and, and join some of these committees and help support those efforts. And then, of course, being a nonprofit, um, we are always looking for community support. Um, we really want our programs and our riding to be accessible to everyone, uh, regardless of financial background. And in order for us to be able to provide some of our riding and our group programming at low to no cost to the participants, we really rely on the community support to be able to do that. So those are three great ways that people could um, potentially uh, join our team at Ironstone and help sort of creating impact in the yeah, community. Yeah, really, really give back to the community, really give back Absolutely. to the residents that need those those services. It's, a, it's really mm -hmm. a great opportunity for people to get involved and yep. you're actually seeing the difference that you're making you know, each and every day. 
and in a few minutes we'll talk about the different events you have coming up. Yeah. But you know, if you're a veteran or if you're someone that might have, and it's mm -hmm. amazing you have, you're very inclusive, all inclusive. We are. To anyone yeah. that might that might need these services. If you're someone who might have a disability or someone who might be a veteran, um, how do they actually take advantage of these great opportunities? Yeah. So the best the best thing for people to do would be just to go to our website, um, www.ironstonefarm.org. Um, and on the website, you can have access to learning more about how you might um, sign up or get interested in our lessons and our oh, programs. Great, yes. There's information on there about volunteering, our events that are coming up, the different happenings that are at the farm. So our website is really the um, sort of the one ticket to kind of learning and understanding right there, so. everything that's there. Whether yep. you want to participate, whether you want to be a volunteer, that's yep. all there. It's all there. And you're all on social media, all the different social media we networks are. Yep. as well. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, please uh, challenge Unlimited Ironstone Farm. We're on all those places, and Excellent. and love for people to be, um, you know, sort of sharing our information, commenting on our information. So yes, please, we look we look for people to be following us on all the social media channels. Perfect. And you know, I know you're the executive director now. How long have you been with Ironstone Farm? And you talked about how it's such it's such a rewarding place mm -hmm. to work at. Mm -hmm. You know, what attracted you to work at Ironstone Farm in the first place? Yeah, so I, um, I've i been at Ironstone Farm for just over 18 months. Um, and um, honestly, uh, just being able to be a part of a team yes. that is providing such incredible life-changing support for people, um, I just, I still pinch myself huh. every day yep. um, that this is where I get to come to work and get to be part of um, a team of people that are really, really making a difference in people's sure. lives. Yeah, and it's a difference that you can see each and every day, which is which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so it's such a great place to be at, right in Andover yeah. as well. So right yep. in our own backyard, which is a great opportunity for people to get out there and, like you said, volunteer give back. Um, but there's also other ways for people to give back because there's a great events coming up, correct? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have a couple um, events. So we have um, uh, two events that we hold, fundraising events. One is our golf event, which we just had uh, this past June. Um, and then our other is our largest fundraising event, which is our Spirit of Giving Gala. And that will be held November 4th at Andover Country Club. And we are um, absolutely looking for people to get more involved in this event. Information about sponsorships, tickets, um, ways that you might donate in-kind kind of donations. That's all available, again, back on our website. Um, and you could learn more about those events. And we um, are really looking forward to um, having another uh, successful sold out uh, fundraising yes. event in November. Yeah, and tell me, tell me a little bit more about that event in November. I know it's, you, know, you said normally sold out and it's the end of a country club. It is, But these, yep. the, 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 the dono donations, the mm -hmm. proceeds from the donations, the proceeds from the tickets, those all go back to helping people with these great programs. They do, they do, yeah. So um, a lot of the money that is raised at the event goes directly back into supporting our programs. Um, and as I mentioned, it's really important to us that um, everything at Ironstone Farm stays accessible to everyone, accessible and inclusive, right, to anybody yes. that might need the support. And in order to continue to do that, um, we need uh, the, the support of the community. Um, the other piece um, of fundraising that we do at this event is our Sponsor a Child, which is our scholarship program for um, our therapeutic riders. Um, and so we do a big um, fundraise and a big push for people to support riders so that they can come and participate in our lesson program um, for, you know, parts of the year um, at no at low or no cost to the families. Oh wow. So there's different ways you can give back to this one event yep. which is amazing and you know yep. sponsoring a rider which is great and you know do, just donating a, a gift that you might have is a great opportunity as well. Or just yes. come out to the event and see, see firsthand what it's all about. Yeah and the big things um, so we have a, a live and silent auction yep. so we are also always looking for in-kind donations um, to um, contribute to these two things, right? Event tickets, um, vacation stays, other kinds of uh, gift cards to restaurants and concert tickets, things like that. All of that would um, would be great additions. All goes to, back to a good cause. So. Yeah, absolutely. And then you also mentioned you have, I know it's gone by, but hopefully it'll be here before you know it because it's in June, but, <laughs> exactly. uh, and we're at the end of August we're just, right now, yeah, so, yeah. but uh, you have a great golf tournament. Tell them home exactly what the golf tournament is, and you know, next year it's a ways away, but how they can participate in the future. Yeah, so our golf event is in June. Um, uh, we are tentatively looking at the first Monday in June, and this would be in 2024. Yeah. Um, and again, we're, we um, are, we'll be looking for sponsors for this event, as well as people to participate for 
foursomes of golfers to come and participate in yep. the event. Um, last year, the proceeds from this event went to supporting our veterans and first responders programs. Um, we'll likely do something similar um, again this year. We were very fortunate to have a couple of the veterans that we've supported at Ironstone Farm throughout the year participate and be part of the event and come speak. Um, and so we'll be doing that again this year. So um, yeah. And again, information will be on the website. People can find out more information. Probably that will come out um, in the late winter. Excellent. Yeah, no, you know, the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce is a veterans uh, assistance program. So we, we realize how great it is to, you know, give back to our veteran community, say thank you for all they've done for us. And, you know, working with Ironstone Farm, that's an amazing opportunity as well. So yeah. there's a whole host of opportunities for people to get involved, whether it be through donations, whether it be through, um, uh, volunteering yep. or you know for the community members that might need these services there's an opportunity is there as well you know as we begin to close out the uh, episode if someone's thinking I should donate I should you know volunteer mm -hmm. or something like that why should you know what, what what would you say to them why should they do that um, it because that is um, we're putting that to immediate impact yes. um, and changing changing lives in some cases saving lives um, and really um, I think at the core of our values of who we are as an organization. We are an inclusive community um, where all are welcome and all are accepted and any types of support that you give to our organization allows you to be part of that same kind of community um, with those same with shared values. So um, and you know I, I welcome um, any questions or opportunity to talk with people more uh, about sure. the work that we do at Ironstone Farm. Um, I think that um, we love to have visitors come. Sure, yes. So reach out, um, reach out to me directly, go onto our website, um, schedule time to come and tour um, and really see. It's hard to put into words the work that is happening at the farm. Um, I think the best way for people to experience the magic and the healing and the joy that happens there every day is to come on out come and visit Come out there us. and see it first yeah. hand. So. Yeah, so we, we welcome the opportunity Perfect. to we'll, have people come visit we'll, us. We'll put your contact information in, in the video, but tell me one last time uh, yeah. as we close out the episode what sure. your website address is. Sure, our website is www.ironstonefarm.org. Perfect. And you can find us on all the social media channels, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And I follow you guys on social media. It's, you can see right there the, the impact that you have on the community, the impact you have on our residents as well. So, uh, Carrie, I just want to say thank you again for being here today. Oh, thanks for having uh, me. Like you said, 18 months, uh, you know, you're doing an amazing job at Ironstone Farm. We can't yeah. wait to see the great things that come up in the future as well. And best of luck with your um, big event coming up in November also. Thanks so much. Perfect. Well, Carrie, thank you for joining us today. And I want to say thank you to all of you at home for watching another edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber. Means business program. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.